Hi, right, welcome. We are now March and there's a big update coming. This is the SSD where I promised I would never ever do anything without filming it. So this is time to be. It's 1812.7. So it has been a while since I've been on here. Probably haven't changed anything since then. The number this one can be changed anytime you like etc slash lsb release change it to a number you like that's not important the thing is you need to update always to keep rolling so the idea of this rolling thing is that you never reinstall reformat reinstall everything but just update your system like i do just now and when you type updates is 1.6 gigabytes it's not nothing but only net upgrade of 90 megabytes so it's nothing it costs us some bandwidth, but not space on the hard disk. So when when I type this thing in, update, you're going to update the Arch Linux and the Arch Linux stuff. And you can look for the Arch Linux stuff up here. And the A somewhere, here it is. It starts here, Arch Linux, Arch Linux, Arch Linux stuff. And it stops here. So a bunch of Arch Linux stuff. But basically, let's face it, it's a lot of Arch stuff, not Arch Linux stuff. So we're just waiting for the update. That's what we do when we uh, put on, well, start up our systems and we update it. So there is a big update now, March 2019. Let's put this out of the way. Let's see what we've done in the past. And in the meantime, have some fun and see what things we can change here. Configure application. Let's change another icon. We've done that probably at some point in time. It's called Arco Linux, my dear friends. Again, this one, that one. Nah, don't like it. How about start here? There are some alternatives for start here. Here's looking in applications. I'm looking in everything. Of course, now everything takes a little bit longer because it needs to check out all the icons on your system everywhere. So that's why I say start here. So a lot of things, I made icons for different kind of uh, systems. As you can see, that somewhere in here is a white one. Apply. So that's what I wanted to have, a white one, right? You can, uh, I was thinking, can we do something else here? Can we set a text next to it, like we do in Cinnamon or we do in MixFC? So I was just wondering that. Doesn't look like it. We have one, two, three, four, desktops but they are flipping up like a cube that's going to be changed when we update our systems later on so that's the setting that's now in here that will be gone later on okay that simple screen recorder is updating almost halfway and uh, alt n is working here yes alt n is the variety changer alt t is trashing it alt t is trashing it that works fine. Ctrl Alt M is not present. Ctrl Alt T. Oh yeah, Ctrl Alt M is present. So we've made it in previous tutorials. We've changed that and Ctrl T is working. Super Return is not working. Ctrl Alt Return, not present. Super E. And Latte Doc. Oh, there's a Latte Doc that we've used. I forgot about that. So it's not your standard plank, it's actually Latte Dock, another kind of dock that we have uh, installed. Forgot about that. This is Wobbly for sure. And the Wobbly effects are in the desktop effects in here. You can check it out. And the other video I said to get you guys up here, you have this element, exclude. Okay, pause. So I was saying that uh, sometimes you see th things while well, you see videos that people have options and they're in the video and you don't have them. So check out if it's maybe excluded. 
so you see there are things excluded that you just can't do on your hardware so it's actually a smart filter that it has up here so things will change in here not much but some of them have changed the wobbly windows are here dim screen for administrator mode will be on with the next update fade desktop is on slide is on desktop tube desktop grid is on some things will change in the meantime everything is up to date so if that's up to date we do a pksyua i better also check so that's the bunch we'll do bunch of extra software but let's look for and i'll have to cut the video in two because i have to set a good example what am i talking about so when i scroll back up what you always have to keep a look look out what you have to look out for is linux it's probably gonna be there there it's uh, it has been a while so in the meantime there was maybe 10 kernels that we skipped where are you linux now oh, get we have we found him linux 4.20.13 i am now on 20.3 so yeah exactly 10 kernels skipped great so yes i'll have to reboot yes you can oh no no closed oh i closed it my mistake anyway i always keep filming so sorry guy keep going already eight of still eight to do so this can go to the other screen basically and uh, let's stop uh, let's pause the recording here till is done now at this point in time it's still uh, building here but i just got another idea to tell you guys everyone has his own workflow but this is variety giving me a wallpaper that i say well actually that's nice so you can have a look at on uh, vivaldi here on desktopper.co i have an account here you can log in and all you have to do is click on the little button down here and it's synced to your dropbox so what i can do and that's a smart thing to do is to tell variety instead of copy pasting the the favorite so if i say this is a beautiful thing i want to keep it so you say i'm going to favorite already in favorites because i pressed alt f a shortcut and it's in favorites but what is better to do is actually put it straight on your dropbox so it's saved online as well you can always um, check it there and download it on the other computers dropbox and put it on here but it seems I still need to oh that was an example remember we did an uh, an example Dropbox with a special account so my own Dropbox has this folder that's called oops my mistake um, boop, boop, boop. Oh, yeah, choose a folder I'm in there so it has a, a Dropbox um, it's, it's called it's called it's called desktop eh? Dropbox and then a folder called desktop and in there apps I believe and in there all the wallpapers so yes I put the link to my Dropbox and then when I press alt F it's going to be downloaded and, and put in my Dropbox which is an easier way maybe to do things in the meantime He's still installing last pass okay fine um, let's pause again all right it seems i forgot to press on start recording so sorry about that but what have i been explaining to myself without recording everything well in the meantime everything has been uh, updated i know how much i'm missing now but i promise not to skip anything so here it goes so we've done an an update like this everything is now up to date and i was telling that we could um 
do s several things. Well, first of all, a backup scalp, and that's exactly what I've done here. In the other window, I was doing a explaining, okay, there are aliases, and all this has been done by making a war, voila. Okay, so there's our aliases, and in there, there's the backup scalp. So that's exactly what we did. We ran this script and we have an extra script. Look at the difference, November, and this is now March. So we can compare between two periods of time, what changed since then. And the scale is actually necessary because the scale, take a look at the alias, what it is. It's going to copy paste everything from the ETC scale because this is important. Everything that's in here is what's going to become uh, what's going to be on the ISO. I mean, it's a scan is the content of the home directory of the user we're going to install. That's how it works. So everything that's written in here is actually intended to come on your home directory. So we update here. If you don't want the new updates in, don't do a scale because scale is going to update everything from uh, copy paste actually. Just type it in or look for it. It says here this line, copy paste everything from etc scale to the home directory. That's basically what it does. So if you have something that you changed, anything personal that you created, then maybe you should do a quick control C, control V and say, this is mine, right? All your settings and stuff that you've created, you can always recheck before you do a scale, but the scale, we've done that right now. Basically, I was saying also that um, there is a Linux uh, kernel in here. I don't know how much things I've missed without when I forgot to press record, but there is a Linux kernel. So basically I need to stop the video anyway and reboot because now all the new stuff is in, all the new plasma things that were in ETC scale is on your home directory. So I need to reboot so to make it uh, work and to get my Linux kernel in because this is still the Linux kernel 20.3 and I've downloaded 13. So 10 as we skipped 10 uh, kernels. All right, uh, stopping the video and rebooting.